adding the bottom, other documents, fancy cube. We're going to do the bottom. I'm going to save the last, the uh, top for last. Creating a new part, choosing him, and setting him out here. Green check mark. This one might take a little more uh, practice lining everything up the way it needs to be lined up because they're not on the bottom it doesn't have uh, flat surfaces those are curved surfaces so here we go planar i need this surface and i want it to be inside and i want it to touch that surface you turn it around so it's on the inside. Oh, no. I, well, you know, that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything at all. Green check mark. Now I need to choose. I can choose this surface. You know what? This is making it too hard. I'm going to X and I'm going to pull this guy out so I can actually see what I'm doing. I can even move him over here. What does that mean? He's not really moving over there. He's just moving in these two directions. So I can move him up and down, left and right, but I can't move him side to side. Isometric, go to the bottom. Okay, so now that he's upside down, I'm gonna choose, oops, zoom in this surface, and I want him to touch this surface He's still upside down. Let me flip him around. Oh, look. Now he's almost in the exact right spot. We can click here, bring him back into the front. And finally, the last piece, I need to raise him up and down to get him lined up to the right place. And so to do that, this one's going to take a little bit of a different setup. I'm going to pull him down so I can actually see the top. I'm going to plane and I want to choose the bottom here and I'm going to flip it over and I want to choose the top. But the problem is that I need this guy to be offset just a little bit, 0.25. And that way, when he is inside, he's just 0.25 off. Green check mark, he pops into place. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Here we go. So far, so good.